Ang ECG is, in full words, it's electrocardiogram. Ito ay isang simpleng um, tool or isang simpleng diagnostic test. Ang gusto makita kasi ng ECG is yung kuryente ng puso. So it's just a representation of the um, electrical activity of the heart. Ang electrocardiogram, it is a very simple test. Actually, it can be done in less than 15 minutes. No, It is readily available. Pwede siya makita sa heart station lang, sa emergency room, in a clinic, in a laboratory. It uses a machine and then we try to attach. nag attach kami ng adhesive tapes doon sa areas. And then we try to attach it to lead wires. It can detect the electrical currents of the heart. Ang ECG kasi, we want to detect yung electrical current ng heart. It is not a simple cell, no? So it is a three-dimensional. Gusto natin makita yung electrical currents ng heart at different views or at different angles. So we try to attach it dito sa kamay, sa paa, to get a different view. So yung dito sa kamay, sa paa, we want to get the angle frontal. Dito naman sa chest area, we want to see naman yung angle ng heart through the horizontal axis. That's why we have different placement of leads. Okay, so you try to attach the lead to the tapes and then to the machine. So this um, lead wire will detect kasi yung current ng heart. Now, once it's detected, it goes into the machine. Now, it will be represented in dips and upslope doon sa tracing. So, it's just a representative of the ano, electrical current of the heart. So, through this pattern of electrical current, pwede namin malaman kung ano yung sakit ng patient. It can give us a clue actually. Ang electrocardiogram kasi maraming uses yan. So, one, um, to detect illness or heart disease. Also, um, ECG can also be done on patients na alam na na may sakit sa puso. Uh, in patients naman na normal individuals, no, we usually include namin sila sa routine executive checkup for patients na um, 40 years old and above. Irregardless kung may high blood sila, may diabetes, naninigarilyo. Actually, there is no precaution. Wala siya actually preparation. No, it does not need fasting. Ang ano lang namin, preparation for the patient is one, they need to be stable in the bed, no? And then we try to expose the areas. So yung chest area, we have to expose it para dun i-attach yung mga leads. So para sa kababayan natin who are 40 years old and above, no, it is re recommended sa guidelines na you should undergo an initial or baseline electrocardiogram. And then for those patients naman suspected to have heart disease, meaning non, yung mga pasyente na who are complaining of chest pain, any chest discomfort, yung madaling mapagod or shortness of breath, or any cardiac symptoms like loss of consciousness, palpitation, we usually recommend to have ano, a baseline or an initial electrocardiogram. This portion was brought to you by the De Los Santos Medical Center.